Hi everyone, it's Shed Edge again, and today we're going to be solving two problems with one computer program. We're going to be solving problems 18 and 67. So let's get started. In this problem, we're given a triangle, and we start at the top of the triangle, and we're going to make our way down. What we want to do is we want to find a path such that the sum of the numbers in that path is as big as possible. So let's see how we're going to do that. What we have is we're going to start at the bottom because we know that the maximum value from 8 is going to be 8 because there's nothing below it. And the same for all the other values. Now we can move one layer up. So 2's maximum value is going to be 2 plus whichever one's greater, 8 or 5. So we know 8 is greater, so we're going to do 2 plus 8, 10 is the maximum value from 2. Same for 4. 9 is greater here, so we're going to do 4 plus 9, 13. And 9 is greater here, so 15. Now we can do the same thing here. 7, which one's greater, 10 or 13? 13, so 20. And which one's greater here, 13 or 15? 15. 15, so 19. And for 3, 20 is greater than 19, so 20 plus 3 is 23. So our answer here would be 23. But for our actual algorithm, we're going to be doing a top-down recursive algorithm. So we start with 3, then we're going to ask 7 and 4, what's your maximum value? And recursively, 7 is going to ask 2 and 4, what's your maximum value? And it's going to go all the way to the bottom, where when 2 asks 8, 8 says, well, I'm at the bottom, so my maximum value is going to be my, uh, my normal value, which is 8. And 2 is also going to ask 5. Now it's going to pick the greatest one, add that to itself, and report back to 7. So is 4. Four, the other four is going to ask these values and we're all going to go back to the top until we get our maximum value. So let's get started with our program. What we're going to do is we're going to create a method def max value from our i and we're going to have our coordinates swapped here. i is going to be the y and j is going to be our x. Let's look at our coordinate system here. When you actually copy the string, it makes it really easy for us to be able to move around in the triangle because the top is just 0, 0. And then if we want to move down to the left, it's actually just moving down 1. So our uh, i is going to increase by 1, and our j is going to stay the same. And if we move to the left, our i is going to increase by 1, and our j is going to increase by 1. So let's do that. What we want to do first is if our y is equal to the maximum at the bottom, so pyramid dot length, so that means we're past the uh, bottom of the pyramid, then we're going to return 0. Otherwise, we're going to do the tr uh, we're going to do what we are uh, what I showed you in the example, which is take our current value pyramid at i and j plus max value from i plus 1 and j which is moving to the left max max value i plus 1 and j plus 1 we move to the right so this is going to get the maximum value between the two and that's it so now we're going to do print ln max value from 0 and 0. And let's run. And we get our answer. Now if we try to run this for 60, uh, problem number 67, it's going to be really slow. If you look at the text file, it's a really big text file. And our program is going to be super slow. Why? Because what we're doing is, if we look at our big triangle, we're going to be calculating value, uh, maximum values uh, multiple times. For example, we start at 75. In our recursive, we're going to be asking 95, what's your maximum value? 64, what's your? And 95 is going to ask 17 and 47. And 64 is going to ask 82 and 47. So 47 is going to be checked twice. In fact, every, uh, every location in this pyramid, so the inside 
is going to be checked more than once. So we're doing lots of unnecessary calculation. So a way to f uh, fix this is remember the maximum value. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So basically, we're turning this algorithm into a dynamic programming algorithm. So what we're going to do is we're going to do val mac mem. So we're going to do memoization. And we're going to do equals to. We're going to have a mutable um, collection dot mutable dot map. And our key is going to be a tuple of two integers because we have a um, y and x. And then our uh, what the value is going to be is an int. It's going to be empty. Now what we're going to do is, if our perm is length, then we're just going to do 0. So we're going to encase th um, the whole inside of this else into uh, something that will either just retrieve it or plug it, uh, plug this value in and uh, save it to our m memory. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to do mem dot get or else. So we give our key, which is i comma j, and let's uh, actually we don't want to do get or else. We want to do a method that I found only two days ago: get or else update. So this is kind of like one of the most useful algorithms you're going to use for um, uh, if you're doing dynamic programming because now we can just put this into our default so then it's going to return that value and also save the value to our memory now we can run with problem number 67 and you get our answer really quickly so that's a cool way how we uh, took a, a simple algorithm and turned it into a faster dynamic programming algorithm. And I'll see you next time where we solve problem number 19. I'll see you there. Bye.